What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Blake. You're watching the Aqua Papa where we talk about everything related to freshwater aquatics from species profiles to treating fish with medications, how to instructional videos, store tours, and basically anything you can think of. So when it comes to questions that I get here on YouTube, a lot of them have something to do with how is the tank set up or how is this tank set up or how do you do this? Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Yeah. What's running on this aquarium? Things of that nature. So I've decided that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go tank by tank. They're all gonna get their own videos. The 75 will have its own video. The 10 will have its own video. The terrarium will have its own video. The beta tank will have its own video. But we are gonna start with Douglas's custom 36 gallon bullfrog. So we're just gonna start off with the tank here. It's a 36 gallon Aquion Bowfront Aquarium. I did a custom background on this aquarium. It has the channel's logo. Douglas told me he wanted it, so I needed to get it for him. We got it done. I'll leave a video link in the description or you can click right up here. Now, let's move on to the lighting. For the lighting, we have a Higer 12 to 18 inch LED fish tank light with inline controller and built-in timer. Let's take a look at this controller. So we got four buttons. The first button lets you choose between a six, 10, and 12 hour light cycle. This just turns the light on for the selected amount of time. It doesn't turn it back off. I personally do not understand why this is an option and you'll see why later on in the video. The second button is not only the power button, but it is also let you choose between the color settings. You can either choose white, red, blue, green, purple, yellow, cyan, or color changing. And if you press it twice, it changes it to 100% full spectrum light. The third button down is brightness control, changing the brightness to either 100%, 75%, 50%, 25% or 10%. And the last button, and the reason why I don't think the second button is necessary is the 24 hour light mode. What 24 hour lighting is, is every morning at 6 a.m. the light turns on a dim orange light that slowly gets brighter to wake your fish up. Then from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. you'll get a gradient white light simulating daylight. And then from 6 p.m. to 10.30 p.m., the light starts to dim and change to a blue light, eventually turning off until the next morning at 6 a.m. when it starts itself on the cycle again. All you need to do to set this timer is press the button the according amount of times. If you press it once, it will change it to be 8 a.m. Then you can set it to either 10 o'clock, noon, 3 p.m., 6 p.m., or 10 p.m. So you just gotta press it until the light on the side matches up correctly with your time. This light comes in a varied amount of sizes from 12 to 18 inch, right all the way up to 48 to 54 inch. The prices range from $27.99 to $67.99 USD. Psst, I got the scoop. You can go to the Pet Nanny store shop Higer products and at checkout you can use the coupon code TAP20 to save 20% on all Higer products. Doesn't even have to be the ones in this video. It can be anything as long as it's made by Higer on the Pet Nanny store. For the heater I'm using a Higer fully submersible double tube 800 watt aquarium heater with external display and controller module. Mine is set to 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius. To change the temp, all you need to do is press the button until you get the temperature you want. Changing from Fahrenheit to Celsius, all you do is hold the button down for 10 seconds and it will change. One great feature of this heater is if the water level gets too low, say you forgot that you were doing a water change and you needed to unplug your heater. Once the water level gets down to a certain point, the heater will start to beep at you, letting you know that you need to turn this thing off before it blows up. This heater comes in 500 watt for $65.99, and 800 watt for $74.99. I also have a Higer auto top off kit on this aquarium. How that works is you place a magnetic module slash sensor at the point you would like your water level to remain. You also have a pump and another sensor that goes into a bucket. The sensor in the aquarium detects how low the water level is. Once it gets to a certain point, it turns on the pump and the pump pumps water from the bucket into the aquarium. When the water level in the bucket gets low, the sensor inside will tell the module on the tank to beep and flash. This tells you 
that your water level is getting low. And it's pretty loud too. You definitely won't miss it. The Hager Auto Top Off Kit sells for $74.99. Now let's get to the heart of the aquarium, and that's the filtration. I have two canister filters on this aquarium. One is an Aquion Quiet Flow 300. The coolest thing about the Aquion Quiet Flow series is that you have options for your return. You can either choose to have a spray bar, nothing, or they have this hang on the back style, which you can see on my 75 gallon aquarium. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button to be able to see what that's like. Inside of the Aquion filter, I just have your typical sponge, filter floss, and ceramic media. I'm also running a CJ Whale 120 on this aquarium. Inside of the whale, I have a sponge, bio media, some filter floss, but I'm doing something a little bit different. I got the return going into a breeder box which I came up with this idea before I even knew about the Aquion Quiet Flow series. So the return's putting the water into the breeder box, which is filled with coarse sponge, some lava rock, carbon and ammonia rock bag, and a clear max bag as well. The Aquion Quiet Flow filters are great mid-range filters, although I do wish it was a CJ Whale 350. Then I could just run one filter. The Aquion Quiet Flow 300 sells for $205.99, and the CJ Whale sells for $139.99. So, in total, if you wanted this exact same setup, aquarium, the stand, and all the equipment, it would cost you just under $700 brand new. If you shop at www petnannystore.com for all your Higer products. You could use the discount code TAP20 to save 20%. And I suggest you find a tank and a stand used. It would save you a couple hundred bucks. And that's everything that allows Douglas's tank to run perfectly all the time. And if you made it this far in the video, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and don't forget to tap the notification bell. Until next time, don't forget to do your water changes. Peace.